a test circuit to test the proper functioning of our ARM development boards. I ran into a problem and this is a good opportunity to show how I solved the problem. How this circuit works is it turns on and off an LED for each pin individually so I can determine whether a pin is working or not. That will let me know if there are any bridges between any pins on the actual microcontroller or if there are any cold solder joints. The circuit actually works as expected. The only problem is that I programmed the actual programming pins, the one that's for SWDIO, the IO pin, and the clock pin, the SWCLK. I programmed those to actually output to the LED as well, but they don't have any LEDs. You can always ensure the functionality of those pins just by programming the chip. So how do you get out of that? How do you actually get those two pins out of that function so you can reprogram the chip again. Since those pins have been programmed as a function of digital output rather than the SWDIO and SWCLK for programming, there's no way for the STM32 ST Link utility to actually connect to the chip to communicate with it. The only thing you're gonna be able to do is get voltage to the circuit, but no communication can happen. So if you try to connect to the microcontroller you'll see that you're going to get a message like this, cannot connect to target. If you're trying to connect to an STM32 device, please select normal or hot plug mode from target settings menu. And generally these recommendations are not going to help you. First we need to find the reset pin. And on this development board, the reset pin is located on pin 7. So find pin number 7. We're going to put one end of the resistor on that pin. And I'm using a 500 ohm resistor. And then we're going to Pull it down to ground, which will put the chip into reset mode. And then we're going to go to the link utility, and we're going to click on the full chip erase, which is a little dynamite button here. And you'll notice that it doesn't do anything, it just locks up. We're going to remove the resistor, and you'll see that the full chip erase is in progress, and it, and it erases it successfully. So if I click on the connect to target, you'll notice that it connects perfectly fine. And we can go ahead and program it again, and you'll see that it programs successfully. Don't forget to go to newbiehack.com to get great tutorials on the ARM and AVR platform. Stay tuned for more ARM videos and pick up an ARM or AVR kit to enable you to properly learn the fundamentals of these microcontrollers. Thank you for watching.